I will read then the members who make a few remarks about the same. In reference to the ongoing demolitions at the East Africa Portland Cement PLC property, we wish to state as follows. One, that we deeply empathize with all Kenyans whose property, shelter, and investments were demolished at Mavoko's East Africa Portland land. Two, that all those who are already adversely mentioned to have duped gullible and innocent Kenyans and fleece them of their hard-earned money while masquerading as the legitimate owners of the Portlands be compelled by government to fully compensate the victims of the demolitions. Three, that the DCI should urgently investigate all those mentioned as beneficiaries of the proceeds acquired illegally from the sale of Portland's land. Four, that we are aware that the same criminals have also invaded other private lands, denying the rightful owners the freedom to enjoy their own land. The investigations should also be expanded to cover the invasion of neighboring private lands. Five, that this is not a Kamba issue, but a cartel of conmanship patronized by a few known politicians and the crocodile tears that some of our leaders you've seen in solidarity with the same people they stole from should be ignored. Six, that those found culpable be charged in our courts of law to serve as an example to the rest of anyone hellbent to steal from taxpayers because the state corporation's land is property of the state and not property, pri private property, as the land cartels and criminals and their mandarins would want to allude, purport, or insinuate. Their assets should be recovered after the investigations and prosecutions to compensate Kenyans who have lost millions in the frontland land deals. Seven, Honorable Kalonzo Musioka and Honorable Wavinyandeti and other leaders be compelled to publicly declare what their private interest, and I want you to mark the word private interest, not public interest, is in the Portland's land. They should also be investigated on how much land has been allocated to them through their proxies. And therefore that, number eight, the DCI list should be expanded to capture the big fish, including governors and the party leaders. The DCI should not be scared. They should expand the list. We don't believe this is a Macau only issue. It's, it's, the list must be expanded to capture the big fish. Sisi ni wabunge ambao tuna tuko kwa mrengo wa Kenya kwanza kutoka sehemu za ukambani. Na kwanza nataka niseme kwamba ile shida ambayo iko at river sio shida mpya. Ni shida ambayo ilianza kitambo. Wa Kenya wanakumbuka kwamba wakati mheshimiwa George Saitoti alikuwa waziri wa internal security wakati wa serikali ya mheshimiwa Mwai Kibaki. In the year 2011-2010 aliweza kuteua tume maalum ya kwenda kuchunguza jinsi wakora walikuwa wamejipanga kuvamia shamba za serikali chaired by former commissioner Abdullah Duba so there was a Saitoti commission and the report came in 2012 if those of you care to read and the report named some of the people who were involved 
And the names that are being mentioned are not new because they are in the 2012 Saitoti report. Na baadae, muna kumbuka kwamba mimi nilikuwa nafanya kazi katika county ya Machakos. Na najua kwamba hii shida imekuweko. Kwamba watu wanajipanga wachache, wanaji, wanajihami, wanavamia shamba ya serikali ama wanavamia shamba ya mtu binafsi, wanajifanya masquata kusudi ndio waweze kupata right of ownership ya mashamba. Kwa hivyo kumekuwa na wanasiasa patroning pa, uh, ambao ni, ni, ni patrons, kumekuwa na cartels ambao ni criminals wanatumika kuvamia mashamba na kumekuwa na wafanyikazi katika maofisi za serikali katika survey na katika land registry ambao wamekuwa wakisaidia hao. Na vile vile kumekuwa kwamba ndio utumwe machakos kama county commander ndio utumwe mavoko kama OSPD ama DC lazima ukue katika hiyo katel. So imekuwa ni katel kubwa ambayo imekuwa ikiumiza iki, iki watu wetu. Hivi leo tunaviongea si shamba ya Portland peke yake ambayo imenyang'anywa na ni vizuri watu wetu waelewe. Kuna shamba ya Portland, kuna shamba ya numerical machines, kuna mashamba private ambazo zimechukuliwa some of our most prominent people including Judge Mbaluto. Shamba yake katani imevamiwa na wakora. How how? Kwa hivyo ni the problem is bigger. Kwanza ni solution ile ambayo imekuja na nikimalizia ni kwamba this has been long overdue. Hao watu wote tunajuana wale ambao wamechukua mashamba au wanasiasa wengine tuko nao hapa kwa bunge. Na wote wana, wamekuwa akisema wanajua wanaweza faulu ama wasifaulu. So they have never been sure because they have never had a right over this land. They knew one day if the government makes is decisive they have no claim over that land. So it is important for, for it to be known that uh, they are shedding crocodile tears. Number pili, ndiyo tunasema kwamba tumeuliza serikali kwa sababu what is being said huku nje ni kwamba oh wakamba wanavamiwa. Hii ni shamba ya wakamba, wakamba wamekuwa hapa. The Kamba people we have about, about 5.5 million. Wale watu ambao wako mavoko ni about 1,500 1, people. And none, not all of them are Kambas. That is important for people to know kwamba wale Watu wame, tumeona wengine Kongo village. Kongo kwani Kongo ni, ni, ni makweni. Watu wa Kongo wanasema Kongo village. Wametolewa Kongo wamekuja wamepewa mashamba hapo. Alafu tunaambiwa uhu ni wakamba wa manyanganya shamba. Kwani Kongo village yao ni watu wa makweni ama ni watu wa kitui. Tumesikia huyu. E, tumeona hule. So ni wa Kenya wamekuwa pale wengi. Yani wamenyanganya pesa na wanajua ni nani alikunyanganya pesa. Pili umeuziwa shamba. Umejenga hoteli. Shamba umeuziwa eka kumi. Na umasema umelipa 500,000. Shamba iko mavoko 500,000. Ni wapi shamba ya 10 acres ineza kuwa 500,000. Kumanisha hata uo kinunua, ulijua unanunua fake. Tatu, hakuna shamba inapeano na mtu binafsi. Shamba inapeano na serikali. Kama una, umekuja umepata mtu binafsi ya mekuambia na kupatia shamba, ndi ujenge. Sasa si serikali ya county, si National Land Commission, si o Ministry ya Lands. Nani binafsi ya kupeana shamba? Kwa hivyo, Tuache ubunuasi. E, tuuliza watu wetu wa waipa, tuache ubunuasi. Tuache ku insight ati ni jambo la wakamba. Si jambo la wakamba. Ndugu yangu wa kiiba, si mimi ni meiba. Ni wachache, wawili, watatu, wa meiba. Na tunawajua. Kama umekuwa kiletewa pesa ya kufanya kampaini kutoka kwa mashamba ya Portland, ndugu yangu, declare your interest. Useme hawa, wamekuwa wakiuza hizi mashamba, wananiletea pesa kufanya kampaini. Mimi naito fulani fulani kutoka sikuru na nimekuwa nikiletewa hiyo pesa kufanya campaign. Let us just be open. Na si jambo imefanyika ukambani peke yake. Hivi tunaviongea kericho kuna wale ambao walikuwa wamevamia mashamba ya TV factories, wametolewa kwa hizo mashamba. Wale ambao wamekuwa wamevamia mashamba ya mau wametolewa. So it is not an ukambani only problem. We want to say that uh, lazima we must correct the wrongs of the past. Na what we have uh, been told uh, is that uh, hii shamba it will be put into public use kutajengwa ma factory kutajengwa manyumba and our only request is that uh, his excellence the president prioritizes the local community wakati kazi zikitengenezwa 60% zipewe watu wetu wakamba ndio tuweze kusonga mbele asanteni sana and the media please tell the story as it is stop sugar coating stop working with cartels and criminals these people are criminals and you cannot tell the story of the criminal and you don't tell the story that is in public interest thank you very much i think we are here is uh, members of parliament allied to the Kenya Kwanza uh, 
side of the government of the political divide. And uh, it's because we've seen the stories for the last one week flying left, right and centre, trying to incriminate the president in what is happening in demolitions in Maboko, trying even some senior people in our region have come out to call out the names of some of our brothers who have been uh, appointed in senior offices by the government that they are involved in the demolitions. That's quite unfair. You, you, you can't narrow down on, a, on an officer who has just been appointed by the government to run a certain organization and say that he is the one who has done it. This is a policy direction by the government. It was implemented by the government, not an individual son of the Ukambani who is working in the government who has done it, as alleged by some of the leaders. Number two, I think it's good for us to put the story right. And this is the right format. And if, we, if we are, you will be trying to go around and looking for any other truth from what I'm going to tell you, my brother, you are going to have a, not a very true story. The true story is this. There is a dominant political party in Ukambani. They learned that they have to fund their party. They looked at uh, the natural resources in Ukambani. They looked at some of the things in Ukambani which can help them fund our, their party. And uh, they landed on this land. The land in the river, the land in Mavoko. Even uh, at some point, the land in uh, Ketengela in Kajiado. But they, could, they were not given that opportunity. So they formed a cartel of uh, some leaders and also some goons of uh, the Kamba community background, as in Kambas. And they decided they are going to make money out of this land. So they went ahead, hired the goons, uh, apportioned themselves this land through protection by these goons, and also seeking protection from government offices by corruption. Then they went ahead now to sell the land to unsuspecting gullible Kenyans. I don't know whether you are getting me. Some people have come together, have decided to look for money, and they have seen there is some land in our region which we can use to raise funds for a political party. So if we can use our political positioning and our popularity in Ukambane and look for a way of a mafia way of operation, that we, we, we make sure that we are the ones who are selling this land. So they managed to do that very well. Today, I was shocked to see the name of only one member of parliament in the list being investigated by DCI. This man, Honorable Macau, is just being used. There are big names from this popular party behind Macau. It is not as Macau as as Macau, the member of parliament for Mavoko, who did it. No. But there was a larger team of political leaders. Then there was a larger team of uh, Kamba leaders, local Kamba leaders, and some goods. So when they went on the ground, what they did is not that they sold the land to Kambas. No. If you find, if you look into the statistics of uh, the land we are talking of, and uh, the communities who have uh, been mostly affected. 40% of people who are sold la this Portland land are from Mount Kenya origin. 40 another 40% of people who are sold this land are from Kisi uh, background. 15%, there is a 5% of Congolese. 5% of Congolese. Then there is a 5% of Kambas. Then there is 10% of leaders. Because these leaders did not leave themselves with nothing. Some have 100,000 100, acres, 100 acres, some have 50 acres, some have 20 acres. The, it's only 5% of Kamba community who have been affected by these demolitions in the Portland land. The people who have been either affected are non 
40% is from Mount Kenya region. 40% is from uh, Kisi region. 5% is from Congolese background, refugees. But the people who have benefited from this money, the cartel, the mafia kind of formation which has benefited from this money is made up of total 100% Kamba leaders from a party which is dominant in Okambane. This money has been funding that party for the last 10 years. That is the reality. And we have to bring it out so that it can go out there and be seen. So I want to tell our people, the Kamba community, it's only very few Kamba members who have their houses demolished. If we compare the number of houses of the Kamba people who have been demolished in the Portland land, is only 10%. But 40%, another 80%, Actually, 85%, 80% is from some Kenyans from other regions, 5% is from some Congolese. Only 10% is Kambas. So, but all the money went to some Kamba leaders. No other person who gained advantage of this. So, whom are we supposed to go, to go after? We are supposed to go after the people who smartly went ahead and uh, got hold of the land, uh, lied to the people, masqueraded as land, the, the landowners, and sold to these people, uh, the, the, the Kenyans, who were unsuspecting. And the Kenyans went ahead and built homes, <coughs> built shops, built churches, built schools. We saw schools, private schools in this area. Because there has to be a school. There has to be a church. There has to be these public amenities. So people went ahead and built hospitals in this land. But they were just buying the land from a mafia team. So what, what we're asking for is we have to go for this team which acquired the land and sold to the gullible people. And because they never sold uh, the land to get lorries of sand, they sold the land to get money. Whatever they bought with that money is what the government should go after, the asset recovery authority. We are calling upon the, the, asset cover, uh, the asset cover authority to take it up after the DCI and uh, recover, uh, recover properties from these people. And now they can uh, take care of the people who have lost their property in that land, who have lost their houses, who have lost their land, who have lost their investments. And that's the truth. They looked at uh, the natural resources in Ukambani, they looked at some of the things in Ukambani which can help them fund our, their party. And uh, they landed on this land. The land in the river, the land in Mavoko. Even uh, at some point, the land in uh, Ketengela in Kajiado, but they, could, they were not given that opportunity. So they formed a cartel of uh, some leaders and also some goons of uh, the Kamba community background, as in Kambas. And they decided they are going to make money out of this land. So they went ahead, hired the goons, uh, apportioned themselves this land through protection by these goons, and also seeking protection from government offices by corruption. Then they went ahead now to sell the land to unsuspecting gullible Kenyans. I don't know whether you are getting me. Some people have come together, have decided to look for money, and they have seen there's some land in our region which we can use to raise funds for a political party. So if we can use our political positioning and our popularity in Ukambane and look for a way of a mafia way of operation that we, we, we make sure that we are the ones who are selling this land. So they managed to do that very well. Today, I was shocked to see the name of only one member of parliament in the list being investigated by DCI. This man, Honorable Macau, is just being used. There are big names from this popular party behind 
Macau. It is not as Macau as, as Macau, the member of parliament for Mavoko, who did it. No. But there was a larger team of political leaders. Then there was a larger team of uh, Kamba leaders, local Kamba leaders, and some goods. So when they went on the ground, what they did is not that they sold the land to Kambas. No. If you find, if you look into the statistics of uh, the land we are talking of, and uh, the communities who have uh, been mostly affected, 40% of people who are sold la this Portland land are from Mount Kenya origin. 40 per another 40% of people who are sold this land are from Kisi uh, background. 15%. There is a 5% of Congolese. 5% of Congolese. Then there is a 5% of Kambas. Then there is 10% of leaders. Because these leaders did not leave themselves with nothing. Some have 100,000 100, acres, 100 acres, some have 50 acres, some have 20 acres. The, it's only 5% of Kamba community who have been affected by these demolitions in the Portland land. The people who have been either affected are non campus. 40% is from Mount Kenya region. 40% is from uh, Kisi region. 10, 5% is from Congolese background, refugees. But the people who have benefited from this money, the cartel, the mafia kind of formation, which has benefited from this money is made up of total 100% Kamba leaders from a party which is dominant in Yokambane. This money has been funding that party for the last 10 years. That is the reality. And we have to bring it out so that it can go out there and be seen. So I want to tell our people, the Kamba community, it's only very few Kamba Kambas who have their houses demolished. If we compare the number of houses of the Kamba people who have been demolished in the Portland land is only 10%. But 40%, another 80%, actually 85%, 80% is from some Kenyans from other regions, 5% is from some Congolese. Only 10% is Kambas. So, but all the money went to some Kamba leaders. No other person who gained advantage of this. So whom are we supposed to go, to go after? We are supposed to go after the people who smartly went ahead and uh, got hold of the land, uh, lied to the people, masqueraded as land, the, the landowners, and sold to these people, uh, the, the, the Kenyans, who are unsuspecting, and the Kenyans went ahead and built homes, built shops, built churches, built schools. We saw schools, private schools in this area. Because there has to be a school. There has to be a church. There has to be these public amenities. So people went ahead and built hospitals in this land. But they were just buying the land from a mafia team. So what, what we're asking for is we have to go for this team which acquired the land and sold to the Galibu people. And because they never sold uh, the land to get lorries of sand, they sold the land to get money. Whatever they bought with that money is what the government should go after, the Asset Recovery Authority. We are calling upon the, the, asset, recovery, uh, the asset Recovery Authority to take it up after the DCI and the recover, uh, recover properties from these people and now they can uh, take care of the people who have lost their property in that land, who have lost their houses, who have lost their land, who have lost their investments. And that's the truth. But what we stand for as leaders is that transparency matters land uh, in this country and what we have as our manifesto is to ensure there is total fairness. What has actually come to light, and I really want to appreciate DCI, they thoroughly uh, brought out a list, a list that includes different groups of cartels, ranging from people who are being paid by taxpayers' money, 
whereby eventually then they, uh, they, they, they continue uh, curtailing and, and, and uh, selling this land fraudulently. It is a high time that we urge that action be taken by government to ensure that total compensation will be done by the same same people who fraudulently uh, count these uh, very innocent Kenyans. I want to state that the Excellency, uh, his, uh, uh, the President William Ruto, has nothing to do in what is being purported by our colleagues from the other side that uh, we, are, we, are, we are trying to, to uh, not consider families. That is not the case. The law uh, cuts across both sides of the coin. There is no that uh, it is leaning to uh, one group of people. So the president is not uh, in, in regards to, um, is, is very fair in ensuring that uh, law is adhered to. As with my colleague has also stated, uh, the leaders, especially the Machako's leaders, who have really come out, they have been there uh, when these lands have been uh, sold. They have been on the front line. They have been mentioned. They should be actually on the same front line, taking themselves to the same same DCI and being able to, to honor the, the, the particular summons and being more responsible instead of trying to come out and show sympathy, which does not completely make sense. This property uh, has had a case for over 10 years. Uh, in, the, in, the, in the court, it was ruled. So a process has taken place. Where were these people, uh, in terms of the people who sold them land, if they felt genuinely that it was not the case? They did not present themselves. They, they were not party to the court issue. And then they, they let it die because they knew the status. So these issues of, uh, of uh, land curtailing should come to an end, and this should, not, uh, should set an example. As we've also mentioned, we have different tribes that uh, have been uh, affected. We have Mount Kenya, we have people coming from the western region, because Kenya belongs to everybody. You can be able to settle anywhere. So it's not really a, 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 a community that is that we are just here trying to say this is the only community that is here. We are representing all Kenyans and trying to say that local leaders uh, honor your, your, your problems, honor your, your, your menace that you, you took, and be able to be on the front line and compensate the Kenyans who are suffering right now. That is what we stand for, and we stand to ensure that fairness will be accorded as required. Thank you. I have also said that the list that was given by the DCI must be expanded, because I think this is a Macau list only. But where is the big fish? Where is the big fish? Where, where is uh, the, the, the party leader? And therefore, DCI ca ca cannot just target the smaller fish. My point is there are bigger fish than Macau. All of them. Who are they? And I've mentioned uh, one of them is Kalonso. I've mentioned the other one is Wavinya. <laughs> My friend, remember, in the river, already more than 20 people have approached me, telling me I'm a victim, so and so sold the land to me, or oh, Alinuzia Pesa. And even I have now clips that I can share with you how these deals were done. People just quickly just telling you, you go there in Yako, you go there, you build there, and if you don't build, I'm going to take it tomorrow. You go build, we have, and I'm going to share with you immediately after this. So these things are there. Yeah. Uh, the victims are coming uh, to us. Uh, they already now know the truth. They know the people who now claiming to be helping them they are Kikulacho Kinguoni Mwako. They are the people actually who fleeced them. Anyone here who believes Kalonzo uh, can be the next president, you're obviously daydreaming. I mean, it's not worth the effort even discussing because these are very, very serious matters that should not be mixed with some mediocre jokes. First of all, I was going to go to Na alama na izi smali yo, maasi numbasi yo, na, na siendusi yo na even their investments. Number two, ni important tu kama na genesis ya, ya kini chao. Nundu kwa andwa ingi meunenga ni stories ila itesi ya ugo. Na kwa asia kana silikale ni, ni kubomole andu numba, kana ni kuwa nanga siendu. That is not the correct position. The correct position ni kana, eh, pe andu mo kie malika kitheka ni kite chocha public. Andu mautala, ndongo yo nini. Na ndongo hila siya likile siya ambia kuwanya kiteka. Chas likale kuanzi ya fraudland, kana kuanzi ya siya useleke. Na manzi ya kuthowe siya andu matezi. Amwe akamba, angia kuyo, angia kisi, onangia kongo. Maambia uthowe uwa kiteka cha Portland. 
ukwa akamba alame kidekani cha Portland alama bomelewe ni a very small percentage na these quarters ni victims andu mundu likie tenguzu ni akaunya mbesa siyake akanenga mutongo imuna mutongo yozo amuita kini kitheka chakwa haka mudhoesia ukezi ya kana mbesa nisi ya exchange moko lakini mudhoesia ni wakon edhoesia andu mate umana kana kitheka kila mudhoewa ni wrong na yue la nundu hitheka siya zilikali siya mea na ni lazima akamba makama na kitheka kini cho kitheka cha akamba kiyo manzi kitheka cha mundu umeka na andueli makathima wase maani ya mudhoesia kongolisi mudhoesia andu wangi na mba ingi kitheka cha mwene ndi kana cha akamba kana cha community kimanja ni kitheka kitu tuenda kwekiwa maundu maitu tukekiwa kethani masipitali tuenda kethani masikulu manene tuenda tukekiwa pao kethani maundu ma IPZ matu wana utu masiana situ ikuwa tamawia kethani housing program ito wana utu masiana situ ikuwa tamawia nundu ni kitheka cha public si ndu isu ikekiwa within the public land public land ndi maanisha mundu vulani ezi ita mutongo ya umale aya ni kitheka chua asia ni chake adho wa isi andu eke mbesa ngusuni na mbesa isi mundu ngisi kutedia na kwa kila muno ni eke kwa demolitions ni kana koti ni neki ya yama saa koti ya ilobi ni na lili ya ikuwa ni yame zito isi ilwa between Portland na alama ya zito mei theka ni isu alama ya the way we theka hii na ninzeleke na koti ruling ina isi ya kana theka hii ni isi ya Portland kana ni isi ya community na sisi ya komundu pa hii Portland ni silikali na silikali ni community na andu ala mevu ma occupy ita illegally na andu asu demolition ni kuwa wila inekiwe mundu wa mbe wala waile hizo yiku mandwa na nakeni wala wosie iteka hii anya ambie kudhoezi ya andu no na ni choto ukulia DCI the expand investigations kenda wese kuithia niya pinpoint andu on the alarm involved Zuko ila siye kwa nisi ukwa siya anduwa nene macha macha waipa. Mendi ni wa idheka, kana ni beneficiaries maideka hii. Inikiludi na kalonzo, inikiludi ni governor wito. Maumele matutavye interest siyo katika idheka hii nisieva. Eka interest ya kwa siya, nuu utati ya mwene ndi, kumbe uwe mutati yake ndake lacha kukibu kikadhi. That is the clarity we want. Na, na kuwa huu let us stop kasgating the Kenya Kwanza administration. Kwa si ndute shuwa ni mwisi siyasa ni siyasa. Kwa lili andu wa suyu ala madho wa isi. O hitheka. Madho wa isi andu matezi. Ni moyu. Aye nino niye maithi. Madho maa kingangi. Maithi kuita press conference. Maketa amedho imamana. Na mundula kuita amedho ibaya. Aye niwe. Wasi ya kitheka. Aha niya. Ate ya andu matezi. Eki ambesa mkusuni. The DCI must investigate. Na kila tu kwa siya ni. Ala me ukwa tika nina. Kabisa kabisa, kana ni kalpa bau, kana medhiwa, ni mwuma bau kiti ita mbesa. Nundu tayari tuwe na DCI desk. Ila iseti ito katika the river. Ya nduo, ndi matuwae, marekodi, maasi nye na nengi yenga nyambesa, ehe, ambe na nye na nengi yenga nyake, ndasi uo, ndi tuko lanyi. Na hindi, nundu mena mbesa. Mbesa isi o, omoza nisi, kwa mwene, ndi mamo vena. Heather ni mwukamba, Heather ni mwuzaluo, Heather ni mwukoyo, Heather ni mwukesi, Heather ni mwukongolisi, ta kongolisi na ingiba u. Ende tu tu kulia hi, matoa na utunga mbesa isiwa tano ndo ni mama mosi mbesa. Na also idhi tu ita kama tu zikulia, matoa ni kata, ukewa mundo ni squata. Na mundo zio ni squata, e na e kadi ana, kana na e kama na eli, si idhi kazi ili lobi. Wai wasi kwa tuwa mudembo, uto na e wata mundo ni squata wa muka mbana na kwenye mukongolis. Na mukongolis yuzu e na idhi kana nne ukaza idhi si na ila tu ita kongolis village si zangu na streets. No yewa ni sikuota ya mwukamba. Au miata mwukongolisi ya sotu ya sikuota wa mwukamba. Onataka tuwe uwa. Ithe kazi ya Portland. Tuke kila mwukamba. Tutu ilue chake kila mwundu wako watu injumwe. Ndiyo thani inge watu kwa ya. Lakini watu kia ita ita kazi ya kitheka. Kitheka chakamba. Mwundu waka kita tea ita chake. Haka azi ya kitheka kitu. Kana kitheka chakwa. Mwisho uwe zao lilio. Heza hili ya ena. Heka ngili umwebu. Na kumbe uwe. Ayetete. Andwa nini maya wadhi ita sikuota ma protect ya ikitha kanundu ni wese na interest vo nundu ni wese sikuota siya uambu ni siya motete yangi na kila chake ya kangili uvithe tewa uvithe tewa mbeza siya campaigns bingi tumetwe katika idheka isu maka raise mbeza baya kuna maunduma siyasa na ini idheka siya mwene ndi comment situ ni kana kitheka cha mwene ni jisha mwene ndi na kia ilo kitwa azele kio ndama mando wala mai matunge mbeza siwe ene ndi alama umiye na tuyacha ni pole muno muno biu Monobio kwa alama isi si ndusio tuilite na mobio na tuiana mukwa ngina the end ginandwa hama pe mbesa matu ngembesa with the nima nima kombeza itu ambeza sio